in the last lesson, we spoke about people who are always in a cheerful mood, people who are able to look at life in a positive, uplifting, elevated way. We said that they were like angles of elevation, angles that start at the horizontal or flat surface and move upwards. But what about those sad, down people who often feel depressed and gloomy? In this lesson, we will look at angles that remind me of these types of people. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand what is meant by an angle of depression and represent information from a real-life example with a mathematical diagram. Many, many years ago, there lived a girl whose boyfriend dreamed of sailing on the ocean from Cape Town to South America by boat. When he left, they were both very sad, as they realized that they would not see one another for a very long time. Every day, this poor, sad girl would go and sit by the edge of the ocean and look down towards the sea, hoping to see the boat with her boyfriend. But all she saw was wave after wave of water. No boat and no boyfriend. Years passed and the place at the edge of the coast where the girl sat each day became known as Depression Point. The girl stood at the edge of a mountain overlooking the ocean. Her eyes looked down towards the ocean, searching for her boyfriend's boat in the distance. The angle created from an imaginary horizontal line to her line of sight is called an angle of depression. Angles of depression are measured from the horizontal downwards. The girl pining for her boyfriend was depressed and gloomy. She felt down just as an angle of depression moves down from the horizontal. The angle of depression from A, where the girl is standing, to B, the point at which she's looking at the water, angle HAB starts at the horizontal line HA and moves down to line A. B. Our story has a happy ending. The girl, who was now a woman, still returned to the place by the ocean every day, hoping to see a boat. At last, one day, there, far away in the distance, she saw the boat. The woman wanted to jump in the water and swim out towards the boat, but the water was extremely cold and she wasn't sure how far away the boat with her boyfriend was. Let's see if trigonometry can help with true love. To use trigonometry, we need a right-angled triangle. We can draw in a right-angled triangle from the object that we are looking at towards the horizontal line. We have triangle AHB. If we draw a line up from the boat to the imaginary horizontal line, then this line must touch the horizontal line at 90 degrees. So H is a right angle. The mountain where the woman sat overlooking the ocean was 24 meters high. She knew this since she walked up it every day for a long time. Where she sat, from the mountain, the angle of depression to the boat that she saw was 15 degrees. She desperately wants to find out how far away the boat is. How can we use trigonometry to help us? 
let's fill in what we know on our diagram. We know that the mountain where the woman sat was 24 meters high. We know that the angle of depression from the mountain to the boat is 15 degrees. We need to find the length from the foot of the mountain to the boat. Let's call the point at the foot of the mountain C. Now we have a right angled triangle a, H, B. Oh no. It looks like we don't have enough information about this triangle. Don't panic. I think we can figure it out if we look closely at all the information we were given. We know that AC is 24 meters. Can you see that H, B is the same length as AC. So HB is 24 meters. We need to find the length of CB. Is there anything that you notice about CB and AH? Yes, they are also equal in length. This means that if we were to work in triangle AHB and found the length of AH, we would know the distance the woman would need to swim to the boat. Now that we have two angles and a side, we have enough information to do some trigonometry. HB is opposite angle A and AH is next to or adjacent angle A. Opposite, adjacent, which trig ratio do we use? the tan ratio because tan of an angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now that we know which ratio to use let's fill in what we know and solve the equation. Our angle of depression is A and A is 15 degrees so tan of 15 degrees is equal to our opposite side which we know is HB divided by AH. We also know that HB is 24 meters so I can write 24 in place of HB. Now I will multiply both sides by AH. So I get AH multiplied by tan 15 degrees is equal to 24. I want to get AH alone. So now I will divide both sides by tan 15. Tan 15 degrees on the left hand side and on the right hand side. And then AH is equal to 24 meters divided by tan of 15 degrees. If we round off our answer, we get that BC is 90 meters. The woman would have to swim 90 meters out to the boat. Yes, the water is extremely cold, but it is definitely worth it for true love. In this lesson, we were introduced 
to an angle of depression. When a person feels really sad, they are depressed and down. An angle of depression is measured from the horizontal line downwards. We created a triangle by drawing a perpendicular line from the object we were looking at to the imaginary horizontal line. We encountered a problem though when we realized that we did not have enough information in the triangle AHB that we drew. But we hung in there and looked a little bit more closely at the diagram. The imaginary horizontal line AH was equal to the imaginary line joining the foot of the mountain to the boat. And the opposite side was equal in length to the height of the mountain. We were then able to solve the problem, bringing the girl and her boyfriend together again. Let us look at the outcomes of the lesson again. You need to assess yourself and see if you have achieved these outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand what is meant by an angle of depression and represent information from a real life example with a mathematical diagram. Using what you have learned in this lesson, do this task by yourselves at home. An alien spacecraft hovering at a height of 350 meters sees a human on the ground at an angle of depression of 34,8 degrees. How long is the immobilizing beam of light? It shoots out directly at the human. Remember, put all the information onto a diagram first. And don't forget that there are three trig ratios that you can choose from. I hope that our story of love lost but then love found has left you elevated and not depressed. Until next time, be careful of aliens. Bye-bye. Whoa!